I picked up in Cup Cadet RZTS0. Uh, it's all electric, no belts, no gas, no problems. I got a half acre and this thing uh, doesn't even go down one notch on the battery level. There's a little power wash. I heard that thing doesn't work very well, but I haven't tried it yet. This is the uh, plug-in area for charging the battery. There it is. It's nice if that thing's open that uh, more won't start. You know, there's a little switch in there. A couple little scourge areas. I put on a little hitch. The hitch actually um, wasn't an option. I uh, got an aftermarket one from eBay. It's got uh, like 10 height settings. I usually cut the cut on three. So it's got. Uh, a motor for each blade. Both are completely sealed, so no batteries to go bad. It has four wheel steering. It uh, really doesn't have motors on the front two wheels, but they get activated when you turn the wheel completely 90 degrees. The rear wheels actually counter rotate or rotate in reverse so that way you're able to have a true zero turn at the end of your cutting pattern. In order to turn it on, you just flip that switch on. You gotta be in the seat. There's another sensor in there to activate that you're actually on the mower. You gotta place your foot on the brake, and then you're able to hold that red start button down for two seconds, and everything turns on. Hit the gas. Or accelerator <laughs> and go. Hits uh, top speed of about six miles an hour, which is a whole lot faster than you probably really want to cut your grass, especially since I don't have the most perfectly flat ground. Fairly easy to turn. Doesn't have power steering or anything, but. Um, I've been able to drive this thing almost all day for a few hours with, you know, taking the kids up and down, down to the park, down to the beach, and it doesn't have any issues with the battery. The thing lasts hours just being able to drive around if you don't have those blades going. It does have cruise control, which is, uh, I guess, maybe useful just for some people. you got to hit this reverse button and then confirm yes if you actually want to be able to have the blades running and be able to go in reverse. Get some settings, shows your odometer, run time, your deck time, how many time hours the blades are actually turning. You can go from kilometers back to miles. It's got French, Spanish, English languages. It's got a blade boost, so when the blades are on, you're able to hit that blade boost and be able to see. pretty big uh, difference in the regular blade which is all I ever really run the thing on I haven't had to hit that blade boost but supposedly you're able to cut some pretty thick grass with it but I haven't had the opportunity yet to try that but uh, that's about it does a pretty nice job for not needing to put any gas or place any oil or belts especially which is the reason I ended up getting rid of the last one this is a trailer I picked up from Home Depot it's uh, nice for toting the kids around a couple yards of mulch it's uh, plastic it's got the uh, tipper and the swivel on it. it does a nice job I think it was a couple hundred bucks but uh, it does a job if 
uh, you get any questions regarding the mower or this uh, little dumper, let me know in the comments.